Hello friends, do you have life insurance policies? I am sure you might have. Or if you are going to invest in life insurance, I would suggest that you watch this video completely because then you will become uh, aware of rules which has been tweaked over a period of time and we, which affect taxation of life insurance policies. So I start with the first uh, change brought in section 1010D which exempts the receipt of life insurance. First change was brought for policies issued between 2003 and 31st March 2012. The rule was made that if the premium for any single year is more than 20% of total sum issued. In that case, exemption will not be granted. The second uh, change in the rules for exemption of life insurance was for policies issued after 1st April 2012. That limit of 20% which was earlier was reduced to 10%. It means that any policy issued after 1st April 2021 will be taxed fully if the premium for any single year is more than 10% of the total sum issued. These rules have also exceptions. The first exception is that when, you, when somebody receives insurance on death of a policy holder, it is fully exempt. These rules do not apply to them. The second uh, exception is for people who are disabled and the disability condition has to be satisfied as per section 80U or 80D. For them, the limit is 15% and not 10%. It means a disabled person who invests in life insurance, if his disability is as per section 80U or 80D, in that case, premium in one year up to 15% will not make his receipt taxable it will totally tax free. If it goes beyond 15%, then only it is taxable. There are another exception to the uh, these rules were that in the meaning of policy, ULIP, that is unit linked insurance policy was not included. But from 1st of February 2021, ULIP was also brought in in the kind of policies where exemption will be withdrawn. Section 1010D was changed from 1st February 2021 that any policy of ULIP, unit linked insurance policy, if that is issued after 1st February 2021 and the premium in single year is more than 2.5 lakhs, in that case, receipt on ULIP will also not be tax-free. In last budget, another tweak to section 1010D has been done and it says that if the premium for one year, in any one year, on any policies issued after 1st April 2021 is more than 5 lakh your insurance receipt will not be taxable. So right now, the rule for every policy other than ULIP is, if it is more than 10%, if the premium is more than 10% in a single year or 5 lakh, your receipt amount is not tax-free. For ULIP, if the premium is more than 2 0.5 lakhs, then it is not tax free. So these rules must be kept in mind when you are going for investing in insurance and you see whether you do not cross uh, these limits. Otherwise, the insurance company will deduct tax at source. So you will not have to tell them whether it is taxable or not taxable. They will in fact, every time they make a payment, 
for life insurance they will make it sure because it is their legal responsibility to deduct the tax at source in all taxable life insurance payments thank you very much for watching and if you have any question please write in the comment section i will try to pick up some questions to answer in my next video thank you very much